to Mavs Insider. We have a fun segment here on the show called Story Time. It's where we ask a former player about an experience or a memory they had during their playing career. Now, for this edition of Story Time, we asked Mavs legend Rolando Blackman who was the toughest player he ever faced. Hello, everybody. This is Rolando Blackman, and I've got a story for you. Every time you look into the NBA annals, you look about people who are talking about the very best players, who's the GOAT, who's not the GOAT, who can do the very best. And for me, during my era, I had to go up against a player by the name of Michael Jordan. Every time you look about this player, you have to know and understand that you have meeting the most unique athlete that you will ever see on a basketball court. Somebody who's uniquely skilled, talented, ravenous to win, and the in, just, just no fatigue factors whatsoever. In going up against him, I can remember one of the first times I went up against him in playing the basketball game and scoring the ball and putting the, putting the actionables together too. I got the best of them the first few times that we played. Blackman against Jordan. Blackman in the lane. Books not winning good. Then after he became Michael Jordan, it became something that became definitively more difficult. Once Michael got an opportunity and a chance to hit that three-pointer and he could hit from outside, he already had the dominant portion inside because at the end of the day, nobody wanted to meet him at the rim. Nobody wanted to, after those drives, be at the rim because it's always a new poster that they were going to be on with that kind of a thing. He, he's just a fantastic player, and it was extremely difficult. The preparation for that at, the, at first was trying to play team basketball and playing team defense, and you're going to keep him in front of you, and you're going to do all those things that, you know, coaches are writing easily on the board after they thought about it for a few days and, and looked at it and had it on this piece of paper. That didn't work. Just because you thought about it and just because you wrote it on the board doesn't mean the player that you're playing against is going to acquiesce to what you wrote here. There are some of those that are extremely special and you have to really do the job on the court and find the way to match and move forward alongside of them. Michael Jordan, all of that staying in front, moving to side to side, team help and all of those things don't work at all. The only thing that worked against Michael was to being able to go barrel for barrel against him. You've had to be in an attack mode. Blackman with a ball, head of the key, pressured by Jordan. Blackman fakes on Jordan, right of the lane, fadeaway shot, good from 18 feet. If you're in an attack mode, now you get a chance to score, you get a chance to get him in some foul trouble, you get a chance to do some match play, which is the only way it works. Reggie Miller did that, Mitch Richmond did that. I did that, Clyde Drexler did that, and those are the only players actually in, in all reality at the end of the day that could actually match a guy like that and being able to win games when we played against the uh, Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan was someone who could shoot the basketball, make moves on the low block, take the ball to the basket, fadeaways, and ultimately at the end of the day, when you're supposed to get help at the rim, the big men, all of a sudden were not there to be found because he was there on his own because he knew that wherever you rose, he could rise higher. And the important factor with him is that he always wanted to hurt you mentally. He was one of the most fantastic players that I've played against and an opportunity to really go at him and do the good things that uh, we did as a Maverick basketball team and really play against a super superior player. He was the toughest guy that I had to play against, not only on the court, but mentally to being able to keep your structure together. Michael Jordan in my time was definitely the best. That's my story today. Rolando, thank you for that walk down memory lane. Special story to hear from you. Jeff Skin Wade, we're wishing you nothing but the best, and we hope to see you very, very soon.